If you're trying to get rid of watermarks in your video editor, then you gotta know the three C's. Oh, this one's good, yeah, do this. <laughs> okay, let's go. The first C that we're gonna look at stands for crop. The crop method is very simple, and it works best when you have a watermark that's near the edge of your photo or video. Take a look at the date at the lower left side of this video. Aw, the date I began this YouTube channel. Okay, I'll stop reminiscing. Let's get rid of it. So if we wanna eliminate a watermark like this, let's open up our crop tool, and from here, we'll move over to the preview window. And using one of the corner adjustment points, let's reduce the size of this frame just enough to exclude the watermark that we don't wanna see. Of course, we can recenter and reposition as needed. And once we like it, we'll just click apply. Now you might be thinking, well, what if mine's not right next to the edge? Or maybe you don't wanna crop away that much of your picture. Well, then we need to go over the next C, which is conceal. Now the conceal method works great in some cases and not so much in others. It's really gonna depend on the kind of footage that you're working with. So let me show you what I mean. Here's a clip that I've added a watermark to. Now to conceal this nicely, the first thing that we'll wanna do is click the sticker icon and then select shapes. Now from here, let's find a shape similar to the watermark that we'd like to conceal. For this example, I'll go with this rectangle here. So now we'll take this sticker and place it right over the watermark like this, adjusting the size as needed. Next, we wanna adjust the color so that it closely matches the surrounding area. So let's go over here and click on the fill color so we can select this color picker tool right here. Now with this tool, let's pick a color near a sticker to match the color of the background as closely as we can. Okay, that'll be close enough there. Now that we've got that set, let's run a quick export on this footage and bring it right back into the editor. Now this may be obvious to you, but just to be clear, the reason we're exporting this is that so now when we bring this back into the editor, it'll have the original clip and sticker nested together as one single clip. Okay, so here it is. And I've already deleted the original sticker and footage. So now what we'll wanna do is highlight this clip, head over to the tools icon and select highlight and conceal. From here, we'll just need to choose either a circular or rectangular blurred mask. And since we chose a rectangle sticker before, let's select the blurred rectangle here. Now over in the preview window, let's resize the mask and place it right over top of our sticker like this. Now that we have that lined up pretty good, let's click the mask properties tab, grab this feathering slider bar here and drag it all the way up to 100. Doing this will really help blend our mask and sticker back into the original scene. We can continue making adjustments as needed and once satisfied, we'll just click apply. Now, if that method seems like it might take a little too much time, don't worry, I've got another great option that's fast and it'll completely eliminate that watermark. So the third and final C is cover. Take a look at this scrap footage I have here. If you notice, off to the left, there's a watermark that says sample. So if we wanna completely eliminate this watermark using the cover method, we wanna grab our favorite logo, sticker, or even a title with a background, place it right over top of the existing watermark like this. Now, if you're gonna be covering watermarks on your YouTube content, then you're gonna to wanna to check out this video right here, where I show you step-by-step -step how to create a custom subscribe button that you can actually save and reuse in all your future videos. Click on it and I'll see you over there.